Hello, my name's Mike, M0MSN. This week I've been building some uh, more coils uh, for the DX Commander. Uh, this is actually a standalone version because I've uh, incorporated a, an SO239 on the base. Uh, the idea here is that you could just use the DX Commander PO uh, and you don't need to use the uh, the, the, the grown um, plate or the driven plate for this particular one. So it's a single um, element uh, antenna. Um, this one, however, is uh, to be slipped over the pole uh, and it sits on the driven plate like so. That connects to the driven plate and you can have all the other elements uh, for the different bands uh, going beside it. Uh, and that works uh, on the 80 meter band as well, uh, using the 40 meter element and it works well. Um, I'm not going to show you any of that today. I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to build those two in this video. Uh, but mostly this is about 160 meters. We've built a loading coil for the 40 meter element that will work on 160 meters. And this video is about building this. I haven't tested it yet, I will be honest with you. Um, but that's gonna come in the next one. Uh, it's gonna be too long a video to do all in one. So um, this video is about building this coil and the next one will be uh, the testing of it and uh, a little bit of operating uh, to see how well it works. So um, thank you very much for, uh, for visiting the channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe, uh, click the little bell um, and because it, it all helps. OK, thanks very much indeed for, uh, for visiting. Cheers for now. Now this is a 2.5 mil thread um, and I'm going to try to do 160 meters on this particular coil. Um, I'm going to use some stainless steel cortina wire which is one millimeter uh, thick. It's uh, literally um, stainless steel wire cable. There's one thing you have to remember about wire rope and that is it doesn't solder particularly well so we'll put this through and what we'll do is we'll work uh, we'll use a ferrule um we we'll use a little gray ferrule and uh, we'll clip that on like so Make sure, lovely job, and uh, just 
just snip the end off gently. There we go. Just make sure that will sit in. It will. And what we'll do is we'll solder this to it. Plenty of solder in there. Wow, okay. Eighty eight turns, two point five mil spacing, and a three inch diameter former. SO two three nine at the bottom and our counterpoise connection. I have no idea if this is going to work, but hey, we've made the coil. Now we can do is test it. I've made it with wire rope because it allows me to put a basically a jubilee clip here and slide the jubilee clip up and down and make uh, make contact that way. Um, and uh, that should be around 120 micro -henries, if the maths is good. If the maths is bad, 88 turns, then at least it will be a hundred micro henrys. Right. Let's test the coil. Make sure the soda joints are good. Okie dokie. Ooh, how many ohms? Six ohms. Six ohms. Okay. Put 
pretty nice looking coil. Now, if I've measured that correctly, it's 25 turns, and that should work on 80 meters if you put uh, 9.68 meters of antenna cable on the end of this, going straight up. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Oh, so there we are, um, one for 160 meters and the other one for uh, 80 meters. Um, hopefully they'll both work off of the uh, 40 meter element on the uh, the DX Commander, or indeed, uh, as these are standalone, we're using the DX Commander pole. Well, I was going to uh, put them out today and uh, test them, um, but unfortunately the, uh, the wind and the weather's uh, um, pretty bad, actually, to be honest with you. So we're going to leave it for another day. Um, so we'll leave the video here and uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. Okay, catch you again. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.